So we've got this function that gives the population of the United States basically t years after July 1st, 2010. And we're supposed to take the derivative, which is a rate of change, which means how fast is the population changing at that particular time. And the time is going to be 10 and a half years from July 1st, 2010. <clears throat> so first of all, take the derivative of the e function, which is itself the e function. So we've got 309,674,727, and then e to the point 021t. And then the chain rule says take the derivative of this, which is going to be just the point 0 0.021, and multiply. <clears throat> and then the next thing to do is substitute in a 10.5. So 309674727. Substitute a 10.5 for t and then it's still multiplied with 0 0.021. That's all the sevens. <clears throat> and then e to the 0 0.021 times 10.5. And then on finally multiply by 0 0.021. So it looks like it's 8,107,500.636. And then explain the meaning. <coughs> Well, a derivative is a rate, so it's a rate of how fast the population is growing. The t is in years, so this is people per year. So the population is growing by a little over 8 million people per year, and that's 10.5 years after July 1st, 2010. So next what year would that be either 10 years later so 2020 and then half a year later would be well let's see from july that's the seventh month if you add six months to that it'll take you to january so happy new year in 2020